Hi everyone, welcome to our second video on interactive read alouds. In this video, you'll see Stephanie model how she might do an interactive read aloud with her students. Keep in mind that the books that you select and the skills that you work on during your interactive read alouds with your child will vary based on his or her developmental level and interests. Stay tuned for additional videos on interactive read alouds and how to create interactive read alouds at home with your child. Hi everyone, I'm going to be doing an interactive read aloud with the story, Those Shoes, written by Mary Beth Boltz and Noah Z. Jones. I'm gonna read the back cover to get some background. It says, all Jeremy wants is a pair of those shoes, the shoes everyone at school seems to be wearing. But his grandma tells him they don't have any room for want, just need. And what Jeremy needs are new boots for winter. Take a look at the cover. What do you think is gonna happen in this story? This is our main character, Jeremy. Hmm. Those Shoes by Mary Beth Boltz. I have dreams about those shoes. Black high tops, two white stripes. Grandma, I want them. There's no room for want around here, just me, Grandma says. And what you need are new boots for winter. What do you think Grandma means by saying there's no room for want around here, just need? Brandon T comes to school in those shoes. He says he's the fastest runner now, not me. I was always the fastest before those shoes came along. Nate comes to school in those shoes. Antonio and I count how many times Nate goes to the bathroom? Seven times in one day, just so he can walk up and down the hall real slow. Next, Alan Jacoby and Terrence each get a pair. How do you think Jeremy's feeling at this point in the story? Then one day, in the middle of kickball, one of my shoes comes apart. Looks like you could use a new pair, Jeremy, Mr. Alfrey, the guidance counselor says. He brings out a box of shoes and other stuff he has for kids who need things. He helps me find the only shoes that are my size, Velcro, like the ones my little cousin Marshall wears. They have an animal on them from our cartoon I don't think any kid ever watched. When I come back to the classroom, Alan Jacoby takes one look at Mr. my Mr. Alfrey shoes and laughs. And so do Terrence, Brandon T, and everyone else. The only kid not laughing is Antonio Parker. At home, Grandma says, how kind of Mr. Alfrey. I nod and I turn my back. I'm not going to cry about any dumb shoes. But when I'm writing my spelling words later, every word looks like the word shoes. And my grip is so tight on my pencil, I think it might fuss. Explain to someone a, a time when you have felt similar to Jeremy. On Saturday, Grandma says, let's check out those shoes you've wanted so much. I got a little bit of money set aside. Might be enough, you never know. I think the character is feeling hopeful that he might find those shoes or that Grandma might be able to afford them. At the shoe store, Grandma turns those shoes over so she can check the price. When she sees it, she sits down heavy. Maybe they wrote it down wrong, I say. Grandma shakes her head. I want you to act this one out. You're gonna act out the grandma's part. When she sees it, she sits down heavy. Grandma shakes her head. So I'm actually interrupting this video because it got a little long, but Stephanie did post this on her YouTube channel. So if you'd like the link to continue listening to the story and seeing how she incorporates some strategies for interactive read aloud, feel free to let me know. You can comment below or send me a direct message and I will send you the link so that you can check it out. One thing that I wanted to point out was throughout the reading of the story, you might have seen that Stephanie had post-it notes on some of the pages to prompt her to 
um, use some of the strategies for the interactive read aloud. So that's something that we'll teach you how to do um, when we practice as well. So thanks so much for listening and hope you stay tuned for more.